Man, introducing the pound for pound best radio show around the world. It's Leave It In the Ring. But the real fight fans, I'm talking about if you're tuning in and listening and leaving in the ring right now, you're a real fight fan, okay? Because this is what hardcore fight fans do. We all want to talk about boxing consistently. It's, it's a 24-hour thing. It's not a sport to us. It's a lifestyle. Hey, Freddie, how you doing, brother? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. The Antonio Margarito fight, is that a fight that you think that was really needed with you guys? Or or was this a fight just to keep you guys occupied for the time being? Um, it seems there's not much else out there, you know, so, um, uh, just uh, without Mayweather coming to the table, um, I think our, our choice are limited, and, you know, who's out there, you know, Marquez, We've been done twice already, controversial decisions, and maybe a, a good fight again, but maybe too small at 147. So, um, Kodo, like, unimpressive in his last fight against a crippled guy. A broke guy with one knee. Um, and who wants to see the rematch? And where else do we have to go, to be honest? We don't, we don't have a lot of options. Kodo and those guys are making noise, but nobody really wants, they don't really want to fight. Timothy Bradley will fight him tomorrow. Well, speaking of Timothy Bradley, and then you, right now you just mentioned you guys would fight him tomorrow, but it didn't look like it didn't look like Top Rank was a bit interested in that fight. Bob Arum saying that who is Timothy Bradley? Um, but would you guys have been more satisfied getting Timothy Bradley over Antonio Margarito? Uh, I'm not sure. Timothy Bradley kind of exposed himself in the last fight. That wasn't that wasn't too good a take, uh, fight. He fought a very ordinary guy and looked very ordinary in beating him. Um, so, um, you know, is it, 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 does it sell any tickets? No. Does Margarita sell more tickets? Yes. You know, he has a, a, a much bigger Spanish following. And uh, it's, a much, it's a much more popular fight. And it's a, I think a much more exciting fight, too. You know, Antonio Margarito being unactive for, you know, the year, because of his suspension, and in his last fight with uh, Garcia, um, it, it looked like his, I don't know, it just didn't look like the Antonio Margarito of the past. Um, and I was kind of kind of mirroring, saying that if Manny got in there with them, I kind of see the same outcome of what Manny Pacquiao did to uh, Oscar De La Hoya. You know, it just was one-sided. What's your thoughts about that? Nobody's gonna look really sharp, sharp in the first fight back. So he's got that one under his belt. I mean, you know, um, I'm sure he'll look better in the, ne in the next one because he has, he has a, that ten, that ten rounds under his belt at least. And um, you know, again, nobody's gonna look, after a year layoff. Nobody's gonna expect to look great. But um, you know, he gets got to see wet again, and uh, you know, he did what he had to do. He won that fight uh, pretty soundly, and. Uh, I'm sure he's going to get up for Manny Pacquiao, and the thing is, I mean, everything bad has ever had, has happened to him lately. If he, if he beats a guy like Pacquiao, it changes his life. How, how do you guys get up for a fight with with Margarito? I mean, you guys were anticipating the Floyd Mayweather. It, it, we get up for anybody they put in front of us because we don't take anyone lightly. So we're going to train the same for May for Margarita as we would for Mayweather or any other opponent in the world. We don't. We don't take people lightly. We we don't go in to fight thinking this is an easy fight because there's no such thing. Amir Khan, you know, uh, looked sensational against Pauli Malignaggi, and uh, no, Amir Khan crushed Pauli Malignaggi and looked great against Pauli. He's the first guy to devastate Pauli in my life. D don't tell me he just looked okay. No, I said he looked that's sensational. A, that's, a, that's the wrong statement. He looked great <laughs> in that fight. No, I said he looked sensational against Pauli Malignaggi. You know, I agree. And and since he looked so sensational against Paul Imanaji, do you think that it it, it kind of scared off any potential opponents? I mean, Marquez is not it's not even coming out of his mouth. He said he doesn't have any interest in fighting him. Um, yeah, Marquez. You know, he, he has a chance to be the first Mexican fighter to win. I think uh, four four world titles. We're giving him that. We offered him that opportunity. He turned it down last time. 
Uh, is he going to turn it down again? I, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of good advice out there for Amir right now. Um, yeah, Bradley's talking about fighting Pacquiao, but he, be, he better worry about Amir first. 140, he looks good. He looks thick. He looks strong. How how long can you keep him at 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 140? I mean, when does he move up? Uh, no, no time soon. I wanna, we want to clean the 40 pound division up first. Uh, we, we, you know, we make 140 easily. We can still make 135 if we wanted to, but I think he's more resilient and better at 140. So the, the, the 40 pound division is stacked right now. We just got to get these guys to come to the table and, and fight us. I mean. Um, you know, Devin Alexander, you know, making a lot of noise. Five fighting can tell me pretty soon. He, you know, he looks like he's, he looks like he should win that fight. We can, you know, can tell Nick's not, beat Madonna. He's not a bad boxer. But, um, you know, uh, again, the mayor has a bright future. And, uh, you know, the thing is, he's way better than all those guys out there. He has way more like, amateur experience and stuff like this. And they, they tell me how much better these guys are. But how come they didn't go to the Olympics and they didn't win a medal? I mean, yeah, but, um, I, again, I, I, well, I fear nobody at that division. Whoever Richie Schaefer offers me, I'll take. The big thing with Amir in the beginning when he went into your training camp was a lot of people were saying, hey, you know, how does... How do you correct something that is rarely ever corrected, which is the chin? Well, it wasn't his chin that got him knocked out. His, his aggressiveness and his, he, he made a fundamental mistake. And he opened himself up going with a, with a wide, long hook and opened, opened his chin up to it, and he walked right into a perfect punch. Um, you know, does, does he have a bad chin because he's been knocked out once in his life? I don't think so, but the thing is, I know a lot of people do, but... He's he's a lot more solid than, than people give him credit for, and uh, I I don't see any problem with that. I mean, he, you know, he hasn't he hasn't showed it. He hasn't lost a round since he got knocked out in his uh, in, in that fight with Prescott, and um, you know, I think it was probably the best thing in the world that ever happened to him because he realized the mistake he made, and he won't make that mistake again. Freddie, I, I got my last question for you, and. Uh... You know, you've always straight up every time I've spoken to you, you know, off camera, or on camera, on the radio, off the radio. Um, are you happy with boxing anymore? I mean, is, does boxing still give you that certain light? Uh, ever since the fame and everything has came along with it, is it what you thought it was going to be? Uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, I'm just famous enough to enjoy it a little bit where, uh, you know, I'm not... I'm recognized by people by 24/7 and so forth, but it's uh, it's it's nice to be recognized for what you do. Um, I'm, I'm dealing with it, you know, I, but I still work 12 hours a day in the gym, so um, it, it hasn't changed my life at all. But, but I mean, uh, yeah, I can sleep. I don't have to worry about paying bills and stuff like that at this point. But it makes it a little easier. But um, you know, but I, I'm not a, I'm not that type of person that's gonna be flashy, too too flashy at least. So in terms of, of, you know, criticism that comes from all corners, you know, I mean, it, it, how, how does someone balance that out? I mean, you know, you work so hard to get to this point, and it seems like since you got to this point, there's been nothing but criticism. Nobody seems to focus on the positive. It's just the negatives that keep coming out. Well, it's in, it's in our nation, I guess, to be jealous of success. But um, I can't let that bother me and so forth. But the thing is, I just, I, my, my job is to keep winning and, um, you know, and just prove everyone wrong. That, that, that you know, because I still have a passion to this. I still work really hard. And um, I know how to study, study fights. I know how to come up with game plans. And, um, you know, um, it's just uh, I spend 12 hours a day, six days a week in the gym because I love the gym. I mean, it's like if if I didn't have the gym, I I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. I'd be, <laughs> well, I, I have no hobbies, you know. And I went to the Expendables last night. Mickey Rourke invited me to the uh, premiere. That was that was fun. Right. So so once in a while I get to go to the movies. That's, but that's about my only form of other form of entertainment besides boxing. You know, Omar Henry, the uh, the prospect for top rank, went down to your gym. Was there any talk yeah. of him being trained by you? Uh, I think he stopped by to, to, to check it out a little bit. He worked out. He worked out one day, and uh, he's a funny kid. I mean, you know, he talks a lot. He's uh, a little bit in love with himself, but that's okay. I mean, uh, I, I like cocky fighters because if they didn't believe in themselves, who would you know? No one else is. So, 
I mean, I think you need that edge to be a good fighter. So uh, um, he showed some interest about moving to the West Coast and training. But Jimmy told me it's expensive here, though. I mean, <laughs> so LA is, is not not a cheap place to live. But um, the, uh, I told him, I says, have your your manager Cameron Duncan call me, and you know, we'll, we'll work something out. Really quick, a prediction on the Margarito fight set. You know, um, what what do you think? TKO, knockout, or do you think you guys are gonna? Uh, go all 12 rounds with them. With Margarita, I think we'll knock them out. You know, I remember when Manny beat Oscar Delo and I said, Manny, who's next? He said, Margarita. I said, he might be a little bit too big. And everyone thought that at the time, of course, but he, he saw something that he knows he can take advantage of in that fight. And uh, Manny, Manny I, I feel Manny would lock him out in the late round. I think that... Uh, that you and Manny are going to be doing a service for boxing fans by knocking him out because of the fact that so many fans are upset of what he tried to do against Shane Mosley? Um, I guess it's give and take, of course. You know, uh, he, he says he was unaware of it. You know, we'll never really know the, the, you know, the truth unless he comes out and, you know, admits to it or something like that. But the thing is, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Did he know? Didn't he know? Um... I just say this, the person, if he used it in fights before, someone didn't do their job, because you gotta be, you can't trust anybody, because people will do anything to win, so, I mean, I mean, Margarita, Margarita will never get, get away with that, with, with, with me in the other corner, but, you know, um, again, if, like, if you use the illegal pattern in the cargo fight, which we, we can't prove or nothing like that, but we can assume it, it looks like the damage was done, but, uh, some in Cordless camp didn't do their job correctly. So, and the commission didn't do their job correctly. So, I mean, the thing is, stuff like that, I mean, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but in, in, in the world we live in, winning is everything. And the thing is, yeah. you know, I, I, I just see, as long as, as long as a good, a good action fight, which it looks like it will be, um, We'll, we'll take that fight until until maybe it comes comes around it, it possibly, and if not, we'll 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 see who's next. When it, when the fight was announced to you guys and given to you, did did Manny? Uh, what was the reaction to it? Was he excited about it, or was he more or less like, okay, whatever, just put put somebody in front of me? Um, him and Bob worked out. You know, when Manny's in the Philippines. We don't speak because I'm here doing my job and he's doing his thing. So. Um, we will, we will we're in training a month, and, but Manny doesn't take anyone lightly, so he, he'll, he'll get up for any, for, for any opponent, so, he, he, you know, he did express to me that, that he wanted to fight Margarita one time, so, I, I'm sure the passion's there. Hey, Freddie, brother, thank you again, man, for taking the time to speak to me. It's always a, it's always fun, it's always a pleasure. Thanks a lot.